Well, you're exactly right. We've had a pretty tough winter, but with that winter, we've had a pretty good amount of moisture that's actually been deposited across most of the U.S., certainly the coast as well as the Midwest and upper Midwest. With warming temperatures and, and good soil moisture prevalent, I expect we'll see lots of habitat growth, and then with that, the insects will be warming up, they'll be foraging for food, looking for new nesting sites, but also reproducing, which means I think the pressure is going to be heavy across a lot of parts of the U.S. Well, certainly early in the spring, the, the two insects I would be looking for dramatically are the subterranean termites as well as carpenter ants. Uh, these are wood-destroying insects and they can cause lots of damage to our homes and our businesses. So we want to catch that activity early so we can cure that problem but also prevent that problem over time. Yeah, well, let's take uh, subterranean termites for an example. There's a lot of great things we can do to catch that activity. On the outside, we want to look for areas like wood to soil contact, kind of probe those areas and see if there's any termite activity there. Uh, certainly look for what we call shelter tubes or mud tubes. And these are kind of uh, little trails of, of soil that come up from the soil itself into the building and the termites use that to access into our structures, into our home. On the inside of the home, we want to look for things like uh, what we call a, a, a pinpoints or, or a shelter material that's on sheetrock that might have a little bit of soil within it or maybe even some tunneling there. And anything that looks like moisture damage, that could be certainly caused by the insects. And lastly, if we have flying insects inside the home, might be ants, might be termites, let's get them collected, get them to a professional, and let's find out exactly what's going on and put a plan in place to solve the infestation. Well, certainly for subterranean termites or carpenter ants, which are wood-destroying insects, I think it's important to have an ongoing relationship with a pest professional. because They should come out at least once a year, if not twice, do a great inspection, and then catch any activity early before we get lots of damage. As for other insects, it's a great idea to have a pest professional uh, provide you a service throughout the year, but if you have activity going on, you're finding ants in the pantry, you're seeing signs of different types of insects or even stinging pests of different types, let's get hold of a pest professional because they can really help you solve that, that quickly and easily without a lot of emotional distress or even a lot of extra money you'd be putting in do-it-yourself type products. You know, we have some great websites, have some great information. Uh, Termiteinstitute.com, antinstitute.com, and a newer site we put together, bedbuginstitute.com. Please check those out, a lot of great information for your review.